Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers, fellow Tonys and Toy Collectors? This is Starstream 1988, and today I bring you a comparison video here. Uh, this is my one 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 forty four scale of the Death Sight Hell uh, model kit from Gundam, and um, actually, uh, obviously, I did a, a previous video to this, and um, I just kind of actually wanted to show you a comparison video. Um, I am by no means an expert on Gundam. I do like the genre. I think it's really cool. I've seen tons of the anime but i'm not an expert um i'd like to be someday obviously um my fields are obviously more <laughs> transformers and power rangers so this is very like left field it's still in the you know in the vein of robots and stuff which are very cool but um but yeah this is kind of something new for me i just kind of started doing these so i hope you enjoy it so the reason i'm doing this comparison video is again this is the very first um, Gundam model kit that I build and it's small so I figure I start small I'm not gonna try to get into the master grade yet I do own a few or a couple I should say and I own a huge mega scale one but I haven't built those yet so th those will be coming soon um, so the reason I want to do a comparison here is because I was at my brother's house he was kindly enough um, let me borrow one of his 144 scales as you can see there that is very very different um, Obviously, this is a this is GP01 from the um, anime of um, 0083, and if you haven't seen it, it is really cool. Actually, I'm like in the middle. Of, I'm in I'm in the middle of actually watching the show right now, but it's really really nice. Um, and I guess the reason I want to compare is because I mean this guy is super beefy. So for 144 scale, I mean I think it's actually a better model kit than the Death Side Hell. I know in terms of the show itself, all the Gundams are very different. Um, these are just I mean this guy GP03 they're just badass or GP02 I should say they're just very badass um, but yeah they're very different as you can see right from the get go the height uh, so it makes you wonder like why would they go small or was this just like an era where they were kind of big and now they've gotten smaller um, and again this is old this is over 10 years old 15 maybe 15 16 years old I don't know exactly how old this is as I don't have an original box um, but I'm um, Again, I just wanted to kind of show you a comparison of where they where they are now, you know, where they are nowadays in terms of um, these model kits, and I just I thought it was very um, odd how much bigger this guy is. Uh, one thing that unfortunately my brother was not able to do, and cool thing about Gundam model kits, I I want to say is that he's had this for over ten years. I'm I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, there's no panel lining, but the cool thing about it is, uh, I could easily just give them a, uh, a marker and be like, "Hey, go nuts!" You know, create some panels and just kind of make it look even more spiffy. Um, so as it is right now, it's still a very nice um, kit uh, in terms of this size. And again, I'm not an expert or anything, but I do like what I see. Obviously, um, he's a little dusty, <laughs> but um, it's really nice. So I can definitely. Um, I mean, if he gave me permission, I wouldn't mind doing some panel lining on it. I think it's really nice. And then the last comparison I kind of want to bring out and just, just kind of show how this has changed. And again, I just kind of do this for the sake of, for me really, because, you know, I think YouTube is awesome because you can obviously um, show off your collection and share it with other folks. Uh, but then you can also keep it for prosperity reasons. So you can always, you know, show your... Um, your love was later on. Look all the you know geeky stuff that I used to be into, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And you don't have to have it in your own hard drive. It's it's there for everyone to see. Uh, but yeah, this is from the era of when they were being sold here in Toys R Us, and I guess I think some other stores too. But um, as you can see, there's some markings there in the back. And uh, this is honestly, I want to say, definitely four inch action figure. Um, it's made out of a, um, I believe, ABS plastic, so it's pretty. It's pretty nice. Um, it's kind of weird though. I like I you know I said it in another video previously. Um, I think it was part of the toy haul. Um, I think I like the model kits better. Some people will probably argue and say no, the action figure is the way to go. And um, I know I, I I made a huge mistake. I I called them um, Tamagotchi. No, not Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi is a different toy. Uh, there's a there's a line of new action figures that are a little bit bigger and better detail than this guy here than the stuff that they were being so. Um, that they were selling at Toys R Us at the time, but um, that line is pretty kick-ass. I think they like um, they sell retail for forty dollars each, um, so it definitely blows this away. But yeah, again, um, this is from the from that you know from that era uh, from the nineties when they were being sold at Toys R Us. So I just kind of thought I would kind of show you the difference of how um, how much I think better the um, the the model kit is. I just think it's better detail. Um, again, it's missing some of the panel lining, even colors as you can see there, but this is definitely a better piece. 
Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I would think that this pack here does this. Let's see, this bends there. See, I thought that maybe this went here somewhere. I really didn't play with it, haven't played with it, so I don't know where it goes. But anyway, here's all the, the thrusters that I guess you would attach to this guy here. Maybe it kind of goes somewhere like this, maybe. Who knows? I have no idea. But um, this is cool. I mean, it's nice. It's it's cool plastic. It's not going to fall apart. But at the end of the day, it's just not, I don't think it's as cool as the model kit. I think the model kit just has better detail. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's my kind of little comparison video. I just kind of wanted to share that difference um, between the uh, model kit, um, the difference in sizes of why one show has you know made them smaller than the other one and i'll probably um when i do um win gundam zero or whatever it's called i think it's win gundam zero i'll um i'll show you a comparison against this guy again so she can kind of see the difference and um i don't know if i'll have this guy with me but either way so yeah that was it i just kind of want to show you the little comparison video there uh on this guy here so you guys take care peace later Please rate, subscribe, share, comment.